Hello everybody, it's Bonnie from Bonnie's Pretty Puppet Reborn Nursery. How is everybody today? I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope your weekend is just fabulous. I hope you're feeling well. I hope you're feeling happy and strong. I'm hoping that you're able to spend time with your loved ones and you're able to accomplish some things you would like to accomplish. And thirdly, I hope you're having some fun and some relaxation and joy time. I have my little buddy here with me today. This is Sullivan Grant. We call him Sully. And Sully is the Lee Lopez Reborn Kit. And he was sculpted by Priscilla Lopez. And this is my beautiful boy. I just love him. He's with me today. And as you can see from our title, we're going to do a small haul. Uh, these are thrift store hauls. Um, that I found in two or three different thrift stores. And uh, he's with me because the outfit he has on, he has on a royal blue outfit. And on the front, it has an olive green, adorable, not scary monster. <laughs> uh, the monster is olive green. He has orange horns. He has a beautiful smiley face with two teeth. And then his tummy is yellow and lighter blue stripes. And he's also sitting, the hat is not new and his wubbinub is not new. He's also sitting on, and I remember, can't remember what I read, Angel Days. It's a swaddle blanket. It is Muslim and it is white background and it has teal and green and navy blue and orange dinosaurs, all different kinds. I see some stegosauruses. I see some brontosauruses, some pterodactyls. So he's sitting on that blanket. And he's joining me just because he was hanging out with mommy today. We're having a wonderful weekend. Uh, last night we went to, I think like once a month they have a night flea market. It's almost like a carnival. There's lots of food. There's live music. And then they have some tables. I didn't find anything for the babies, although there was a really cute Pebbles Flintstone doll. Um, and I almost went back for it, but I decided not to be because uh, I had found something else. Uh, it's not Reborn related at all, but I got this gorgeous blow mold from the 70s. Reminds me so much of my childhood of this big ghost for Halloween and he's holding a like a giant um, jack-o'-lantern right against his chest and it's so cute. So we decided to go that route, not to mention when I did go back and look at the table, Pebbles was gone. So one thing I've learned at the flea market is go for it. Tomorrow we're not going to go to the flea market, not because of weather or anything, but the cement man is coming to fix the two steps at the bottom of our walkway. So I want to be home for that in case he needs anything and then to pay him when he's done and uh, just kind of keep an eye on things. But then Sunday, I know we're planning to go to a whole bunch of thrift stores and then we're going to go out to eat. We also went out to eat last night together as a family and it was quite fun and enjoyable. So I got a small haul and I also am going to do a tag by Lee, from Lisa, from Lisa's Littles, called This or That. And I'm going to get to that after the haul. So I'm going to get going so this doesn't go on forever. This one does not have a uh, tag. It Well, it has a tag and it says 60, whatever that means. But it is a light blue ribbed nightgown. It's the kind that you can tie in a knot at the bottom. Uh, and it has big simulated wooden buttons and the top of this is so cute it has one of those knotted hats to go with it i'm looking at it it is probably newborn so it's probably going to be for lennon mccartney it could also be for um uh lavender blue and uh my little uh spencer kit it could be for her as well um uh, Willa Mim. I'm sorry. Sometimes I just forget their names, but there's so many of them. So anyways, that is a little nightgown with a matching hat that I found. 
This is adorable, and I'm thinking that this will be for Scotland Nell. She is my um she is my uh Laura kit by Bonnie Brown. And her artist is Barb Wilson from Barb's Baby Dolls. Look at this adorable little uh, romper onesie. It has the gathering at the top with the big butterfly, uh, the big butterfly uh, straps. It is white. It even has, if you look closely, it even has some little like Swiss polka dots. And these beautiful, I'm going to say like cornflower blue uh, flowers on it. And then on top of that, look at this, socks to match. They are so adorable. They're, they've got blue lace at the top, and then they're the exact same pattern. And the, this is by Janie and Jack. It's zero to three months. So this will definitely fit Scotland. I'm really excited to put her in that. I thought we might even start doing, and I hope I say this right, so Sunday blue or so blue on Sunday or something like that. We could we could definitely use that and that little nightgown for that matter with the hat that matches. Then we got Baby Gap. This is really cute. It's a long legged sleeper. Uh, let's see what it is. Zero to three months. So I guess that even um Scotland would fit in this as well. It has the butterfly sleeves, a little bit of a gathering at the top. And then it's that cute striped pink and orange and blue and a darker pink stripes. Uh, no feet, gathering at the feet. I think that would look cute with some sandals and maybe a cute little bow. And again, I think that will be for Scotland, my Laura kit. This is Old Navy zero to three. So again, it turns out that Scotland is our newest baby and a lot of this stuff would be her size, but I didn't really do it for that. I just, I just love it. This is one of these, it almost looks like a gabardine. It is blue and white, light blue striped. It has simulated wooden buttons. It has the snaps at the crotch. It's just adorable. It's just a little short sleeve. Gabardine, I like the back, it even has the gathering here. Really, really cute, again, for Scotland. Also, my Primrose Lean, who is my ward kit, can wear these same outfits as Scotland can. Let's see what we got here. This is Daisy Fuentes. Again, zero to three months. Wow, this is really cute. It's another uh, long romper, but footless. It has pink snaps at the crotch. I think you can see it. At the top, it's gathered with some pink lace. Again, the butterfly sleeves. And then this is adorable. It has the hair bow to go with. And it's the same material. If you look really close, there's little um, lacy eyelet flowers in it as well. And same with the headband. And then it got the same hot pink lace at the top. So again, this could be for Primrose. It could be for Scotland. It just turned out that way. I really didn't plan this. This is six to nine months. So now we're talking probably Posy Meadows, my Saskia. It may fit Princess Adelaide, which is Sutton. Um, it's really, really cute. And it has a little hat to go with it too. Let me show you. Again, footless with rainbow colors at the bottom. It's pink and it has rainbow unicorns, giraffes, and zebras all over it. It's a little snap, more rainbow at the top. I just noticed this rainbow at the bottom of the sleeves. And then look at this adorable headband. It didn't come together, but I bought it the same day and it sure looks like it would go together. It has purplish ears that are sparkly and then it has a purple and green and pink unicorn horn. I thought that would be adorable. I can see Posey in this right now. I found this barrette. It's, you can tell it's handmade. It's got the little shopikins on it um, and it's orange. It's got every color you can think of. Pink, 
purple, orange. It has a little Shopkins detail in the middle. It's one of these. So this would be for um, Storybrook, who is my Ashton Drake hanging with Hannah. Uh, also, I think Jovi Bliss, my June Awake, seven months. She has pretty thick hair. She could probably wear it. I think it would be a little bit too heavy for Libby's hair, which I have not got rooted yet. I thought this was absolutely adorable. We called them Tams in my day. I don't know what you guys call them. But it's like a very light, dusty pink. And then it has pink roses on it with a little brown bow. And I think this will look adorable on Jovi Bliss. I think it will look cute on Libby, my Ariana kit. It might be a little big for Zoe, my Damie kit. But we'll see. We'll try it. It is so cute. It has the flowers all the way around. Then, like I said, the little brown bow and then the gathering around here. Just so sweet. And these are health techs. I haven't seen health techs forever, so I'm thinking they might even be a little bit vintage. It says 12 months. So I'm, again, thinking Jovi Bliss, maybe Zoe Anastasia. I think it'd be too small. Oh, you know, it might even fit Hannah, hanging with Hannah. It says cat, and there's a little picture of a cat. They're the light denim. And they have, like, again, a kind of rainbow color across here. And then embroidered and a little bit standing out is a kitty in a box. It says cat with a couple of flowers and a little box with a heart in it. Yeah, I bet you Hannah could wear these, too. I love the pink buttons at the top. So... My baby, Hannah, is called Storybrooke. She probably could wear them also. I didn't even think about that, but I bet they would fit her really cute. So that's my little haul. Just a few things. I'm still waiting for some things from Kate Quinn uh, that have not come yet. But I was going to do this tag by Lisa from Lisa's Littles. Uh, she does those really cute childhood summer toys, this or that. She does all those little nostalgic things. That just makes me so happy. So you have to pick one or the other, even if you enjoy doing both as a child. So number one is skates or bicycle. I can tell you right now, I did do some skating with my brothers, but my bicycle was my best friend. I rode it from early in the morning to late at night over to different friends' house up and down the street. Um, I, I was allowed to go around the block as long as one of my brothers were with me. So, and then we were also able to ride down. We didn't have to cross the street at all. We were also allowed to ride down together, the three of us, usually my two brothers and I, we would ride down to the bottom of the hill on the same side of the street as our house was a little pharmacy where we could get penny candy and some drinks. So we would do that sometimes too when we had a little bit of cash flow. Um, I am the youngest of eight children. But my parents kind of had a group of children. I have older sisters and my brothers have recently passed away, but they were older than me. But Wayne and Kenny and myself were kind of the younger ones of the family. And then we had older sisters that were even at college when I was five. So we were our own little group of kids, but it was fun and we had great summers. And I would say we all rode our bikes everywhere. Number two, jump rope or hula hoops. Again, I had both, but I'm going to say jump rope. We lived on a, back then in the 60s, you never worried. You went out at 930, you came in when the streetlights came on, and every neighbor child, if they weren't on vacation, were home playing, and we would do jump rope and we would have contests and even the boys would join in uh, so I would say by far jump rope for that number three is jacks or marbles now my brothers if they were here they would definitely pick marbles but I pick jacks uh, we played for hours jacks we would sit on the sidewalk we would play jacks and jacks and jacks <laughs> until the cows came home. <laughs> Number four, Play-Doh or Silly Putty. Again, we had both, but I preferred Play-Doh, and I'll tell you why. I used to love to make 
maybe this is why I like all my baby clothes that have uh, food on it. I used to make little fruit baskets with, with the Play-Doh. I used to make hot dogs and spaghetti. And then I would also make animals and statues. And sometimes I would let them stay until they got hard and then they would crack and fall apart. Um, so I would say by far Play-Doh. And that was one of my favorite rainy day. We had a porch that was screened in and we also had a porch in the front that had a lid. So a lot of times I would go out and play Play-Doh out there. And that was kind of my fun thing to do when you weren't able to ride your bike or something. Number five, sprinklers or slip and slides. Again, we had both. Mine would definitely be sprinklers. There was nothing more fun. We had one that was an octopus and each one of his arms squirted water out and it would spin around and we would jump through that and play with it for as long as my parents would let us. I did have a slip and slide and one time I really hurt myself. Uh, I slid right off and burnt my leg on the grass. So that was not one of my favorite things to do. So I very seldom uh, used the slip and slide. My favorite was sprinklers. We would run and play in it and cool off. Then we'd play around doing other things, riding our bikes. And then when we got hot again, we would get into the sprinkler again. Number six, and it's the final one, is tetherball or hopscotch. Uh, we didn't even have a tetherball in our neighborhood. I know my sons did, but back in the 60s, I, I can't say there weren't any, but there were none in my neighborhood. So it was definitely hopscotch. We would get chalk, sidewalk chalk, and we would build our hopscotches. And we would have contests, and we would have championships. Excuse me. And we would just go on and on playing with our, our chalk. And uh, I remember Lisa was saying there was certain rocks that you could write with. We had some of those, too. I'm not sure if they were granite or whatever, but I remember those too. And my mother had these gnomes in her front yard. And of course, she loved them. And I still have gnomes to this day in my yard. But if one got broken, they were the coolest chalk too. Now, we didn't break them on purpose, but if they got broken for whatever reason, she would let us have them and we would write with them as well when we didn't have chalk. But in my neighborhood, I never remember seeing a tetherball or even at school. Maybe it was a little after my time because I know my boys did play it. And my nieces and nephews played it uh, when I was older, too. Uh, so maybe it was just not a thing of the 60s. It was a very fun tag. Lisa, thank you for sponsoring it. As usual, you brought me back to my childhood. If it seems a little bit choppy, I don't know. I <laughs> I don't know. I'm doing my best here, um, trying to get through everything and um, keep my sanity with all the different construction people coming and going. Uh, but we're doing okay. We're doing fine. Well, I don't want this to be long forever. Beautiful Sully says hello to all his aunties and uncles, cousins, loved ones, and friends. He sends big kisses and hugs for him and his siblings. If you're at work, please come home safe to those who love you. If you're at home, I know you're busy. I know some days you don't have a chance to breathe, but please take some part of your day to put your feet up, to relax, to pamper yourself and eat some chocolate. I get such a kick out of some of my friends when they said, oh, I want some chocolate or I ate some chocolate today. It's a very simple pleasure. I just eat one little piece at a time and it just brings me such joy. And I think sometimes we forget those little things that make us happy that aren't fancy or expensive or, and sometimes you just got to let go and eat a piece of chocolate, even though it may not be the best thing for a diet or something like that. So I get a kick out of everybody when you say that. Thanks for stopping in today. I hope your rest of your weekend is perfect. Uh, we'll be back, I'm sure, for something soon. <laughs> But anyways, and like I said, we are going to go to thrift stores, so I might even have another haul. We'll see. But I hope you're having a lovely day. I hope that you are being blessed with beautiful weather, loving family, fun food, laughter, and joy. God bless you all. We love you with all our hearts. If you're a return subscriber, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really do. 
you mean the world to me. If you have not subscribed, I wonder if you would consider. Also, would you please, if you have a channel and an Instagram, could you please put it in the comments when you comment on my, because I want to make sure I've been subscribing to quite a few channels and I love them all. It's just one of the joys of, that's another simple joy that I really, really love. And I know you ladies work hard to put these, this content out. So I appreciate that too. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe or consider it at least. Uh, we do box openings. We do hauls, which is one of my favorites. We do details of the baby. As you can see, we do tags. We do Toddler Tuesday with Sam and Renee. We do Wednesday, we wear pink. We're thinking about adding the blue one and I'm gonna find out the title for sure before I say too much more. And we also do Theme Thursday with Yvonne from Having You On. So please consider joining us. We would love to have you. God bless you all and we will see you real soon.